Hey, Composer Gloves here, and today we're going to be looking at the free plugin M Analyzer by Melda Audio Productions. Melda, Melda Audio. It's by Melda Audio, and this is really, really cool. It is totally free. Uh, the, it, that statement isn't 100% true in that you're seeing right now a free thing. It is, it's free, it's fully functional, has all the features, but it's except for you cannot resize it. So it's a fixed size. It's like somewhere around that big. Maybe it's a little smaller or bigger. I can't quite remember what size it originally was. But anyways, you can get it and it will function completely. It'll just, you won't be able to resize it. And there'll also be a little banner saying, hey, you need to pay us money if you want to be able to resize it. And it also says like activate on it and a bunch of stuff, basically trying to get you to buy it. But it's pretty cool and it's listed under their free plugins and I'll put a link in the description. Also, I'll show you the site at the end of this video. So this is an analyzer. It is a spectrogram. This spectrogram though is very, very cool, especially for a free thing, very cool for doing a couple different things. So if I play it, you already saw that it analyzes things and we're able to set the length so we can have it be very short. And you see it's quite a rapid analyzation. It is not, is looking at samples very quickly. And then we can increase the, the window that it looks at to making the graph a bit smoother, a little more readable. And then you can actually increase the resolution or decrease the resolution. And I said that backwards. Anyways, you might just be looking for a general curve or you might be looking for something a little more specific. So that's a pretty cool feature. Something that I really enjoy is the sonogram. So this showing you the principal frequencies that are coming through. Also, if you hover your mouse over it, it will give you the Hertz value. The next column will give you the notes. So if you see next to my mouse, there's this box. It'll tell you the note and how flat or sharp it is, which is cool. And also the decibel readout. So on the Y axis, we have decibels. On the X axis, we have frequency. This stuff shouldn't be all that crazy. You're probably very used to seeing it like this. Okay, now besides that, we also have a fill option. And you see that to me is so cool. That's so cool. And they have this in other free plugins as well. So this is a very, very powerful way of looking at your stuff. One that I was like, holy crap, that's freaking cool. And then we have a couple other options. I'm not gonna go through like every single thing they have in this plug because Velda Audio is amazing at including features that you just generally don't get. And I'll let you dive through them because there are literally windows of settings for days. So if we go into settings, we have a whole bunch of extra options in here. You saw me change uh, some of them earlier, just these. We can change between a, a third octave and an octave setting. I, I leave it on normal, it's normally what I see. We're able to freeze it. And I'm gonna skip over some of these, but you have various analysis setups that allow you to be very specific about the information you get. And you're able to change the graphs, which can be pretty cool. And I wanna point out here, you have the ability, you have down here this comparison. So you can copy an analysis from another graph and actually paste it into this graph and actually compare them. And that's a pretty unique feature. They do have, now uh, Isotope has something they can do this, but I first saw a function where they have another metering thing that's not free, you, it's a paid, but you put an instance of it on every track and then it can actually, each instance sees each other so you can see where masking occurs and do a whole bunch of other really cool things. So it's even more integrated than this copy analysis. But I also noticed that, uh, well now I have Neutron, which can do pretty much the same thing, sort of. It's not quite as geared towards analysis as theirs is, but very cool. One of the coolest analysis plugins, but I just, I'm not going to fork out the money for it quite yet. One day, one day. So we have sonogram and you're able to configure the sonogram as you saw, able to apply filtering and a bunch of other cool stuff that will allow you to very specifically view the data you want. And I just wanted to share this with you as a really cool thing. I am a big fan of scopes. I have a lot of, of plugins at this point that allow me to see audio and they have been incredibly helpful. I particularly, I particularly enjoy this one because I am able to get very specific things, things that like some of these options, like you just don't get in other places as far as the way you interact with it, with it. Something else you get with this is this little metering suite on the side, as well as some other plugin functionality that comes with most of their plugs if it makes sense to have it there. Some of them doesn't quite make as much sense like there's one where you can type and stuff, so it has different features. But over here, we're able to do metering. We're able to be very specific about our metering. We can even do external window metering, which popped on my other screen. 
so you couldn't see it, but there it is, external metering. We're able to also resize this, so I'm not sure if you can do that in the free version. But in the in the paid one, you can, and it's not that expensive. It's like 50 euros or something. And you're able to view your levels over time. If we were to play this. There you have it. You could slow it down a ton and get down to the cycle level and do a bunch of other really nifty stuff. And so I'll let you mess with this stuff on your own, but if maybe you're looking for just a cool meter, this could be the answer for you. And then of course you have just your regular meters and they also give you a width meter. And so they could show you how mono and stereo your signal is here. Let's see, that is pretty average. I don't know, it's, if you get into the, the top zone here, this that's not good because, well, it could be good. It depends. If you were to sum this down to mono though, that's just key for not very mono compatible. That's basically, you can use this meter as a general indication of that. Maybe when it slums down to mono, you're still cool with it or whatever, but it's cool that they include that here. I'm not sure if I said this, but you can also go between presets, which is pretty nifty if you have some view settings that you really like. And I believe in the settings, you have options to go in and actually configure those whether they are here, I think they might be in these settings. I think they're in these settings. They're somewhere. But you're able to... Oh, you know what it is? You save it as a preset. That's what you do. You save it as a preset. And I believe other settings within there also get saved with that preset. It's an analyzer plugin. I normally don't go into stuff like that. But it's a common thing in most of their plugs. But you can go and check it out. Very cool. This is the website. And I'll put a link to this in the description. You can see there it is, M Analyzer. But you'll notice there is a crap ton of other plugins in here. Just like, holy smokes. And they come in a bundle. And so if we go to Effects Bundle and you go to the M, the M Total Bundle is so cool. I wish I could get it, but I can't. Uh, the M free effects bundle. So you see you give them 50 euros, 49 euros, and they will give you all that stuff, which is really cool. It comes with a bunch of other nifty plugs, some of which I definitely intend to cover because they are really cool and nifty. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.